Hello, my name is Eric Ford, and I'd like to tell you about an assignment we're going to be doing this semester called the Pecha Kucha for Decision Making. This is a form of visual paper, similar to exercises I've done in other classes, but with a few interesting twists that I hope you'll enjoy. What is a Pecha Kucha? Well, it's 20 images placed on 20 slides, no more, no less. Each slide is programmed to be on the screen for 20 seconds. You don't get to control the timing. Rather, PowerPoint or whatever presentation tool you use must be timed to keep up with you. Tempest Fugit. 20 images in 20 seconds is 6 minutes and 40 seconds exam exactly. The rules are quite simple and quite freeing, I think you'll find, because more structure actually makes assignments better. I'll provide you with a list of some other Pecha Kuchas that you can check out online. A lot of them are really quite interesting. But you ought to ask yourself, what makes a good Pecha Kucha? Well, three things. Image selection, story, and delivery. The first of these issues is image selection. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a Pecha Kucha should allow you to say 20,000 words in six minutes and 40 seconds. Therefore, the images must tell a story and get people drawn into the process and the presentation. In this way, the pres presenter takes a much more important role in the process of decoding the story that the images present. The second part to an effective professional Pecha Kucha is its story. Why are we listening? What is your point? A Pecha Kucha has 20 slides, but they are there to tell a story. Yahoo, Yahoo, excuse me, has a great series called Who Knew that takes you through a quick transition video presentation. Now it's clear that these people have some money to throw at their new development, but they do a very good job of it. The last and most important part, in my mind, is the delivery. Okay? The delivery is flow. If you listen to a wired Pecha Kucha, there's a flow that is absent in most presentations on YouTube. When you hear the moderator, his tone sounds professional, and there is a flow, is what I mean by delivery. When I'm presenting online, I have attempted to take particular care to address the issue of tone. I don't want it to sound as if I'm ad-libbing each slide. Rather, I want there to be a compelling presentation throughout. Furthermore, I never do it all in one take. For example, if you go and look at some of the slides, like the Lean Six Sigma slide that Dr. Huerta prepared, that took seven takes, and we scripted that very, very carefully, right down to the word. There are other good examples on the impact of conferencing that you can find on YouTube, etc. So an effective Pecha Kucha uses images, story, and delivery to make a compelling story that the listener slash watcher is drawn into and identifies with the character. This is a very serious issue. What's our theme then for this story? Well, decision making is our theme. Because the course is focused on decision making, the focus of your Pecha Kucha must also be decision making. What does that mean? Well, it must have a story that focuses on something like quality improvement and how the different tools we've learned impact that. For example, decisions on how do we use control charts? What about patient safety, joint commission, Lean Six Sigma, etc., etc.? All of those would be fair topics for a Pecha Kucha. How's the process going to work? Well, you're going to submit your Pecha Kucha online and to YouTube to reviewers, whoever we want or whoever gets there first will provide you with detailed feedback, slide by slide, for example. You'll then have an opportunity to revise and resubmit, and five of your peers will then grade them. Again, all of this is going to be done through YouTube. You must be able to record a video, load it up to YouTube in an organized fashion. In particular, we're going to have several steps. Uh, the first one is to upload a completed Pecha Kucha to YouTube. That'll be deliverable one, and I'll pre present you with that date somewhere else in the course pack. Deliverable two will occur four days later, and the classmates who've reviewed your Pecha Kucha will upload your feedback. Three days, or excuse me, 11 days after that, meaning seven more days, 
you'll upload your final presentations and other students will then go out and grade your presentations using that same rank ordering system that we used in other double loop learning applications. One question you might ask is what criteria should I use to judge other people's Pecha Kuchas? It's a bit like comparing apples and oranges. Well, we know what some of the standards are. Did they adhere to the 20 second, 20 slide rule? Was the story compelling? Was it related to decision making? And did I learn something that I could apply elsewhere? Those would all be fair game. The other thing is practice your presentation. It's very important that you practice, 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 and that you get everything in on time. You need this because the slides will go by more quickly than you might expect. Therefore, timing matters. There are a few more things about PowerPoint do's and don'ts. Dad's tie is one of the worst PowerPoint slide presentations of all time. I'm tired of seeing it. Use good images. Get that wow factor up. If you want to, there's something called Prezi. That's what I used here. If you use Prezi, you get a chance to really dig down and use different media for various purposes. Lastly, have fun.